Hello and welcome to my 11th video of 2021, where we'll be going over some analysis and speculation on Season 2 of Sea of Thieves, given the information we know so far. If you end up enjoying this video, please do drop a like and subscribe to tell me to make more Sea of Thieves content, and it's always appreciated. Starting off with the biggest revelation is the barrel emote. Players will be able to unlock an emote that lets them turn into a freaking barrel. They can hide in plain sight, on a ship, in a fort, at an outpost, anywhere. And there are a lot of reasons why I'm excited about this. Number one is it lowers the skill necessary in order to engage in stealth gameplay. In the current system, if you want to be good at stealth, you have to wear the right outfits, you have to know all the cheeky spots you can clip yourself into so that other players don't see your name. A lot of stuff that can be really hard to grasp, especially if you're a player that doesn't engage with Sea of Thieves content on YouTube or Twitch. Now, however, any player can unlock and use the barrel emote to ambush players, and I still expect high-level players to get affected by this change. Obviously, if you play the game a lot, you'll probably notice an extra barrel on your ship, but there are so many barrels randomly out there in the world, at outposts, at forts, that I expect some high-level players to get caught off guard still. The second reason why I like this so much is that it shows Rare's willingness to take gameplay that the community does and turning it into actual gameplay mechanics. There are a lot of successful games that do this. For example, Dead by Daylight is constantly releasing perks that fit in with what players are already doing. And another example is Warframe's core iconic movement mechanic was a bug at first, but players did it and loved it so the developers adopted it. This willingness to adopt emergent actions that players do lets the game evolve further and further, and I really hope to see Rare continuing this mantra going forward. We also saw some additional emotes and skins. They looked good, but nothing really blew my socks off. There were two things that stood out to me the most in the Sea of Thieves podcast that was released sometime last week. The first is that the devs want to capture the feeling that we all had when forts were first released with this new Fort of Fortune. They want the rewards to be good enough that players from all around the server want to go and fight to take home those rewards. And that kind of brushes on a topic that I'm interested in making a video on about gold. With rewards getting better and better, gold is only so much of an influencer, especially if you're Pace and you have like 60 million gold. He doesn't care about gold, but that's a topic for another video. The second takeaway from the podcast was that Season 2 really didn't have any development time to learn from the successes and failures of Season 1, so we'll most likely see a lot of the same stuff going on. We'll see new vaults, new skins, maybe a new quest at most, but I look forward to Season 3 where we should see a somewhat revitalized approach that Rare takes. I do think Season 2 looks to be decent, but honestly the most exciting change so far that we've seen is an emote. I hope that Season 3 can really give us something new, as Season 1 and 2 have been nice, but there's nothing yet that I've wanted to write home about. What do you think? Is there anything from Season 2 that's getting you super excited? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like and subscribe, as it really helps me grow as a content creator. And remember, happy gaming.